Chemical Safety's EMS inventory application helps to monitor, update, and manage the storage and movement of chemical containers and stores up-to-date information accurately and systematically. With the EMS inventory app, chemical location information can be updated regularly in real time. Let's take a look at the application. With the EMS inventory app, you can easily work using both online and offline data. If you cannot work online and need to retrieve data from the EMS system to your inventory app, open the sidebar menu and click the Get from EMS option. To choose a facility, tap the magnifier button to pull up a list of facilities linked to your account or filter your search by typing the name or part of the name of your facility. Once you have chosen a facility, select which data you want to retrieve or tap All to access all of your EMS data. Tap the download icon when ready and wait for the information to load. The data is now received. Now that you have retrieved your desired data, you can edit containers through the basic container edit form. Open the basic container edit form from the sidebar menu. The EMS inventory app is fully compatible with wireless barcode scanning devices, which simplifies the process of filling in barcodes manually. The information is also more accurate and can be entered much faster. Scan to add a container, employee, and location information. Within the basic container edit form, you can work with fundamental container functions of the EMS software. You can mark containers as surplus, consume the quantity of the container, or dispose the container. The location and employee information will remain on your screen, but the container information will be reset in order to continue editing in the same location. If you want to request a pickup in addition to disposal, tap the Request Pickup checkbox. If you need to reset all fields, just tap the Refresh button. When ready, tap the Save icon. Tap the menu icon and click the Send to EMS button. Notice that your pending containers are saved in this section. To transfer some or all of the records, tap the Upload icon. You can isolate some records in order to delete or send them to EMS individually. Press the Bucket icon to delete or the Upload icon to send to EMS. Another function of the EMS Inventory app is the Advanced Container Edit section. This allows the user to edit more information of containers. As with the basic container edit section, you can use wireless or Bluetooth scanning devices. Scan or load the barcode, location, employee information, set quantity, unit, physical state of your container, add a chemical name, and add a manufacturer. If you need to change the container's barcode, tap the barcode plus icon. The system will generate a new barcode for you. Here I am adding multiple containers to my inventory in order to look at them later. Remember that you can always access all of this data offline, but as soon as you have wireless connectivity, that's when you can send the data to your EMS system. You can also scan barcodes using mobile devices like cell phones. Go back to the Send to EMS section to look through your pending containers. Upload all or some of them to your EMS. Open a web browser and log into your EMS account. Go to the container form and search for a material that you have worked in within the EMS inventory app and open the container. Search for your records or choose from a list. If you have selected the Request Pickup option of the Basic Container Edit, then you will find a waste request at the Waste menu of the EMS system. The Surplus option will now be flagged and you will be able to see the Surplus checkbox marked. Let's go back to the Inventory application to look at one last function. You have the ability to audit your locations within the Inventory application. Select Audit Location from the left sidebar menu. Scan or search for the location you need to audit. Make sure that after you start scanning containers, you continually press the Save icon.
When you have finished auditing the containers, tap the menu icon and go back to the Send to EMS option. As before, choose a record or upload all of the records to your EMS system. Any container that was not scanned at the location during the audit will be transferred to the corresponding holding area of your system. Log into your EMS account in a web browser again and notice that the containers sent to the holding area have been moved and the containers not having a change location remain. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit www.chemicalsafety.com for more tutorials and information about our company.